Today I fucked up for falling for a guy on Tinder during Covid and got scammed out of life savings. Too long didn't read, met a guy on Tinder while lonely and depressed. We talked every day on the phone, but couldn't meet because of Covid. He invited me to join him on a Chinese investing app. I didn't question him because I was attached and blindly trusted him. Invested my entire life savings and took debt into the app to invest into our future. I now can't withdraw that money and also found out I was catfished. Heartbroken, depressed, and will probably be homeless. The guy doesn't know this, and is still taking to me trying to get me to invest more. I met a guy on Tinder, he seems really nice and smart. We quickly moved to talking every day on the phone. He would frequently send me pictures of himself or what he's doing. We also started talking about hobbies and one of our common ones was investing. He lured me with screenshots of this used investing, betting app, and all the hundreds of thousands of dollars he made. I wanted in since he said that he analyzes the data, and only bets when he has good data. He was very dodgy when I kept asking him what the data he is using is, and only saying he will teach me later down the road. So the betting app, yes he marketed as investing USDT, but it's purely betting roulette, has multiple tiers with min balance requirements, 0,20k, 50k, 150k. Over time, I made 10 to 15% principal each time I traded with him, so eventually I invested over 150k into the Apo because he convinced me that the larger players have more steady volume for analysis. I'm so dumb, and it was all through bitcoins to an app that has no information other than the customer service WhatsApp that takes my questions and deposits. He even encouraged me by continually matching my deposits in order to help me earn more. He was such a sweet talker, painting the future we could have together traveling and buying houses around the world. Couple hiccups. I tried to outsmart the system and placed bets on four different options, and since they had positive odds at the 150k tier, would have been guaranteed profits. This caused me to get flagged for money laundering where I then I had to cough up 3% of my balance as a penalty fee within 24 hours or risk my account getting frozen forever. Fine, I thought it was unreasonable, but my fault. I scrambled, asked for favors and borrowed money to pay the 17k ransom, yes the amount grew with my and his deposits combined. After that resolved, we were ready to make some big money in deck, since my Tinder date says deck has historically great data for betting. He also showed me a promotion the app was running where we couldn't her as a couple, and win prizes depending on how much we deposited. The only one we were eligible for was the 500k deposit one, and of course, we both just needed one 200k more to finish the challenge and win free money. I never should have agreed to this either. But my Tinder date's optimism won me over. Now we are stuck in another drama where my Tinder date convinced me to participate in the couple's challenge, where if we deposit 500k each, we get rewarded 125k. Too good to be true? Yes, but I was blinded. Little did I know as well that if you don't complete the challenge by the end of 2020, apparently the penalty is losing 3% of the balance every day until you lose 60%. I'm at such a loss in trying to borrow more funds, as my Tinder date continues to pressure me and guilt trip me as he helps me contribute tens of thousands in as well. It's a scam, I'm pretty sure he can manipulate the numbers. The pivot point that woke me up, was when I was forced to ask friends to lend me money, and that they were also going to get loans to help me out. In order to not screw over friends I decided to do more due diligence again. Then I found it, I finally found some of the pictures he used in our WhatsApp conversations online from a Chinese real life people photo bank. I haven't revealed that I know about the scam and am still in conversation, but I'm still trying to figure out how I can possibly get my money back on this. I've literally deposited my life savings as well as took out loans and debt to try to complete the deposit challenge. I'm going to be in debt and living paycheck to paycheck for a while. This is a good lesson, I was emotionally blinded by a guy that would sweet talk with me every day, asking about me, and caring about me. I so efficiently found money to deposit into this scam app, without doing my normal due diligence because I was blinded by, love, I feel like crap and am just hoping to resolve this well somehow. Update. I really appreciate the support from redditors here, and I hope this provides a story that others can remember that getting catfished sucks. I've contacted police, 
IC3, FDC, and a couple of lawyers. He only advises to see if police will investigate, but I was told chances are slim to none because the culprit is probably not in the country. I'm still chatting with my scammer, and am so far holding family troubles as an excuse to not have any more money to give. He's very persistent though, and still has that silver tongue. Honestly I'm not sure what kind of outcome I am hoping for by not simply blocking him at this point. Call the police. Yes, but if I'm guessing correct, he's out of your country and Bitcoin. Which means you are sol. Get mad. Tell him you need the money back in your possession before investing more. Get back what you can that way. But you are shafted. Expensive lesson. More on after recovering anything possible but manipulating back you will invest 100k you never told him about once you see you can withdraw. Maybe his greed for the money you pretend to have will allow him to release some back to you for trust to get you to invest best more. I am so sorry. I would try the FBI or something. You're definitely not the first or last person he has done this to. I filled out a form online and reported this, but no response. I'm not surprised. It's also holiday season. FML. I am sorry but you're an actual idiot for depositing your entire life savings on a Chinese investment app and sharing that with someone you never saw in real life. I would try calling the police or at least try to convince him. Explain that there is a possibility you might become homeless. If he has any good in him, he might return the money. Good luck. Definitely don't tell him you are out of money. Has any good in him? That's not how these people work. As soon as he figures out she is out of money she will never hear from him again. I was legit waiting to hear something about Trifidi and some prehistoric animal. But if this is true, whoa. Can someone more intelligent than me explain how this app was supposed to even work as an investment or even a betting app? I don't get it, it sounds like a forward-facing Ponzi scheme with guaranteed returns just for depositing money. You deposit 500k and they give you 20% for free? Today I fucked up by not answering a phone call at work. Today, I was at work doing my thing, docking the sugar, whatever. I feel my phone going off and see that it's my friend from Florida calling, I live in Washington state. Assuming he is calling about making plans to come up and visit, I figure I can call him on my break and we figure it out. Nope, not that. He works for public utilities down there. Basically he spray paints the grass where underground wires are located. He is working in Windermere, so he sees a lot of celeb homes. Today, he got sent to the house of none other than Seattle Mariners legend Ken Griffey Jr. When he called, turns out he was standing next to him and was going to make it a video call so I could virtually meet him. I am a die-hard Mariner fan and meeting Griffey has been a dream I figured would never happen. It almost did today. I hate myself. Too long didn't read, friend from Florida met Ken Griffey Jr., tried to call me so I could meet him on a video call. I didn't answer because I'm at work and decided to be a good employee by staying off my phone. This hits me right in my dejected Washington State sports fan heart. Oh that sucks. Lol goddamn that is a heartbreaker. Did he just call once or multiple times? Answers like a hey, it's not that important, if it's multiple then it's probably something important, unless it's your jackass friends already day drinking trying to get you to leave work early and start drinking since it's already Friday. Lol. It was just one call, followed by an answer your phone bitch text. Nothing else. There was no way I would have expected that he's meeting fucking Griffey and that's why he called. You always answer your phone and say that you are busy at work, could be an emergency or the one million dollars you won from lottery. If it's emergency they will often call multiple times or text slash leave a message saying it is. Today I fucked up by using a different sized tampon than I usually do. Obligatory im on mobile. My fiance, 26 meters, and I, 25 f, are both students and are currently quarantining at my parents house for the lockdown my province is in as we are getting married in two days, micro zoom based wedding. I started my period almost a full week early so I didn't happen to have anything with me and haven't been here a full two weeks so I can't leave the house until tomorrow. Texted my sister, 24 f, 
to see if she had anything and she brought me a few tampons. I'm not a big tampon user to begin with and these were a different size and brand than I usually use but it shouldn't be a problem right? Nope I couldn't be more wrong. A few hours later I went to the bathroom and when I went to go change it I couldn't find it. Assuming maybe it had just fallen out when I sat down I checked the toilet and nothing. It was nowhere to be found. I spent the next 20 minutes digging around my own bits trying to get it out. Contorting myself into shapes I haven't been in before. Squatting, the whole works. All while mildly panicking that I'm gonna get toxic shock and die before I could even get married. My fiance then texts me to see why I've been holed up in the bathroom for half an hour so I let him know about my tampons disappearance act. Being the amazing man he is he immediately comes into the bathroom and volunteers his services to help me remove it. So there I am spread eagle on the bathroom floor my fiance basically wrist deep inside me trying to fish a tampon out of me when the door opens and it's my mother. She immediately screams and shuts the door. Luckily my fiance managed to pull it out of me shortly after and we had to make the walk of shame downstairs to explain the ordeal to the rest of the house as both my sisters and my father heard my mother's scream and they were all in the living room talking about what she had just seen. Luckily my family is a little too close so they all just thought it was hilarious and not my dad's out getting me the proper supplies so we don't repeat this ever again. Too long didn't read. I borrowed some tampons from my sister that are different from what I usually use and one got lost inside of me. When fiancé was helping me remove it my mother walked in and saw the whole ordeal. I guess you could say that he was caught, red-handed. Fiancé earned his red wings today. Hey, red wrists sounds more like it. I damn near threw up from laughing so hard at this story. You mom are the real MVP. He's a keeper. What kind of sick person opens a bathroom door without knocking? What? Was that oil at Cam broken? 